everyone, Draco Magnus here for another episode of Let's Play Persona 5. In the last episode, we learned the name of Futaba's uncle, and maybe not this episode, but in a episode, we'll try to change his heart. We also got the name of Hifumi's mom, who's been trying to convince her to lose when she battles against this pro, and that's just, that's just not right. Anywho, in this episode, I think we're gonna hang with, uh... Haru to start off our day and uh, just take it from there. Also, I want to show this because I never looked back here. Oh, that's lovely. Someone drew poo next to the symbol, too. We can't let people just keep making fun of us like this! Yeah. What are we doing today? Any plans to meet up? Be on the roof for a bit more. Let me know if anything comes up. Seems like Haru hasn't gone home yet. Wanna go see her for a bit? Go right away. I'm heading your way. Alright. I'll be waiting. We just need to wait until the day of the announcement. I'll be taking care of these plants until then. Did you need something in the meantime, Draco Coon? Alright, I wanted to check the plants too. It's the 8th. I'm here for the vegetables. <laughs> that makes me happy. Those ones have done Those ones have done enough growing, so we can harvest them now. There we go. <laughs> They've grown so well. about these ones. Treat them with care and respect, okay? Only two. Okay, that looked a lot more than two, but okay. Just need to wait until the day the announce- Oh, wait, that's the same thing. <laughs> Let's try Sun Tomato. Hard to grow tomato. Okay, that's hard to grow and that's hard to grow. That's why we only got two, I guess. Hope it grows to be big. Some tomato is doing well. It should be ready to harvest on the 14th. <laughs> I hope you're looking forward to it. Oh, indeed I am. But hey, let's actually uh, hang out. Came to see you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, I found a place that serves an especially rare type of coffee. Would you be interested in joining me there? I feel like my bond with Haru will grow stronger soon. It's good to take a break every so often. Do you want to hang out with Haru? Sure. <laughs> then it's decided. This particular restaurant is an expensive hotel buffet. I hope the coffee lives up to that reputation. Oh, we're going to the buffet again. Neat. Um, do you remember how I mentioned before about my newfound interest in coffee? Yeah. Well, I decided to start studying the topic more seriously by going out to places like this. I've been keeping it a secret from my fiance though. You see, just a single cup of dark ivory coffee here costs roughly 6,000 yen. Damn. What a ripoff. It must be amazing if it costs 6,000 yen. Yes. Wow, three points. Nice. I've heard it is. Apparently the beans they use are exceedingly rare. Either way, perhaps we should try it before passing judgment. That's fair. Well, shall we order? I'll be paying for your cup as well. Oh, you don't have to do that. I can't let you- <laughs> Thanks! I can't let you do that! <laughs> Yay, another three points! Woo! That's noble of you. But allow me to handle this. I invited you, after all. Hmm, I wonder how it will taste. Well, only one way to find out. Well, here we go. 
Bottoms up! There's a faint bitterness beneath the strangely mellow flavor. This coffee is clearly distinct from what Sojiro serves at Leblon. This is... It has a distinct fragrant aroma paired with a mild flavor. This is undoubtedly delicious, yet I would barely consider it coffee. Um... Apparently it's brewed using beans gathered from the elephant... from elephant dung. Ew. You mean poop? I can taste the elephant! Um... Hmm, I don't know what the appropriate response is. I don't want to shout you mean poop. Because that's going to draw a lot of attention. I can taste the elephant. I like that. But would that be what I say? Screw it, I'm going to go with that. I'm sorry. Three points! I apologize for not disclosing that to you earlier. I just thought you might find it hard to enjoy it if you had known ahead of time. Fair. That's fair. I was surprised to hear it at first myself, but that was actually why I wanted to try it to begin with. You're weird, Haru. I mean, it's endearing, but you weird. Another rare type of coffee. Kopi Luwak. Let's go with Kopi Luwak. It's gathered from the feces of a small cat called Sivet. Why is coffee grown in poop? I mean, I know fertilizer is a thing, but... The, just the way it's explained. Interestingly enough, the flavor differs depending on what animal it was originally consumed by. Wait, you mean they feed the animal the coffee, then they poop out the beans and they grow? Ew! Well, I'm never drinking coffee again. Speaking of cats, do you think Monachan would be able to? I don't know if he'd be willing to. Hands off my cat. I'd rather not think about it. Yeah, that's probably for the best. It'd be absolutely terrible if he got sick. Hmm. Coffee is so profound. Haruchan? Kakarusan? What a strange place for us to meet. It's not often I see people your age at this luxurious buffet. Yeah, I mean, me and my friends came here once. Right? Yeah, this, this is that place. And who is this? Oh, he's a friend from school. Dragoku, this is Tar takaruka san you know, I said it the first time just fine. Now I can't seem to get it. Ta Takaru... Takarua. This is Takarua-san, the new president of Akumra Foods. Oh, well, pleasure to meet you. By the way, it looks like we'll be able to avoid litigation. We somehow settled on decent terms. You do not... Uh, you don't need to worry. Oh, and about your shares... You should consider letting the company hold on to them for the time being. I'm sure you have enough on your plate already, given everything that's happened to you. No. Well, I... I I'm sorry to bring that up while you two are enjoying yourselves here. That aside, how are things going with Sugimura-kun? You know, these days you need to reserve a wedding hall almost a year in advance if you want a good one. I don't think she's interested in that. Sometimes it worries me how laid back you are, Haru-chan. Right. We're in the process. Well, I should be heading back to the office now. Oh, but please allow me to pay for your drinks. No, that's quite alright. And, um, about the shares. I can handle them for now. I'm going to protect that which my father left for me. I understand. Please do try to reconsider, though. Well, if you'll excuse me. 
Well, he's an asshole. <sighs> that was a lie. There's no way I can handle the responsibilities I have to deal with right now. I mean, I'm just an inexperienced high schooler. But I can't even leave the... Crap. But I can't leave the company in ta Takaruka-san's ha hands. Hey, um, what did you think of him? He was a little sketchy. Agreed. Apparently, a few employees have been accusing him of being dishonest, greedy... A dishonest, greedy villain. Well, I mean, that's probably why your father had him uh, next in charge. I, I shouldn't say that. I shouldn't say that. But that's how he was. But then, there are others who practically revere his efforts. Which side do I trust? Um... Right now, the most prevalent, prevalent rumor about Takaruka-san is that he was pleased by my father's passing. I mean, he was certainly the person who stood to benefit the most from it. It's hard to deny that fact. But he says he's trying to rebuild our company image. I just can't tell if he really means it. You know, sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have money. If I was normal. But don't get me wrong. The company is definitely important. But it's often nothing more than a source of stress. Um... With you guys, though, I feel like I actually belong. That's why I'm going to work extra hard to make sure my harvests turn out great. I can sense a strong resolve from Haru. Empress rank 4, Celeb Talk. Chance to step in after Shadow Negotiates is... Bumble. Shadow Negotiations fail, allowing a retry. Alright. Empress rank 4, Arcana Burst. Celeb Talk. Um... Oh, and as for that Sugimura-san, that's my fiancé. He's been re he's been really showering me with presents lately. One day he even left a bouquet of roses on my pillow. How did he get in? I mean, you must have had to let him in, right? I mean, unless he paid someone to put them there? But he would have needed one of my servants to help him accomplish that, right? What a scary thought. Even worse, Takaruka-san has been hurrying us to get married after what happened to my father. He claims it's because the profit of the marriage... The profit the marriage will bring to the company. But there has to be more to the situation than just that. Yes. Anyway, I'll look a little deeper into Takaruka-san. Perhaps he truly was pleased by my father's death. Maybe I should start asking the employees who are trying so desperately to win my favor. I mean, couldn't hurt. Hmm? You haven't drank any more of your coffee, Draco-ku. Aren't you going to finish it? Uh... Bye. See ya, Haru. I, I don't know about drinking the rest of the elephant poop coffee. I, I think I'm good. Ah, you're back. All right. Iwai needs help, and Chahaya is uh, available. He's Hangman. I could hang out with Mishima. That'd be a good idea. Or Sojiro. Let's take a quick look at our confidants. I don't know why I went this far down, he's at the top. He is at rank 8. Oh wait, I probably can't progress him any further until we take care of, uh, the Mementos case. Yeah, no, that makes sense. Okay, so I'll have to deal with that. So Sojiro's definitely off the table for tonight. What about Iwa? He's at a rank 6. She's at rank 7. They try to get her to rank 8 tonight. 
Yeah, let's do that, actually. I'm game for that. Sorry, IY. I'll get you next time. Shall we do a test tonight? The shop's open again today, so I'll be waiting. Jahaya appears to be waiting for you in the red light district. You want to go see her? Sure. I'll head right over now. Okay, I look forward to it. Son, are you sure you're going to be okay? I can sense it just by looking at your face. The death aura is emitting a strange light. Please be careful. Well then, what would you like to do today? Let's do a test. Please, take a seat. Don't think my bond with Jahaya will deepen just yet. What are you gonna do? You gonna hang out with Jahaya? No, I'll decline right now. Is that so? Yeah, um, I'd actually rather... I want to get a fortune reading. Okay, please take a seat. What shall we do? I would like to forge my connection with you specifically. Let's see how this goes. This reading will cost you 5,000 yen. Is that okay? Sure. Here we go. Okay. She already said that. Here we go. Really, you have no special dialogue for me picking you specifically for the buff? I feel like that's a missed opportunity. Hmm. 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 Your feelings should have reached the other person. Hmm. I bet you can deepen your friendship even further now. Well, that's enough for today. I hope it was helpful. What do you think? What a missed opportunity. Um. Yes, let's do verification. There's something I'd like to talk about. The ATP case is more complicated than I thought. Uh, what am I going to do? I feel like my bond with Jahaya will grow stronger soon. What are you going to do? You going to hang out with Jahaya? Yes. So, the chairman's pushing me as hard as ever to sell those fake stones. I've been trying to use this as an opportunity to investigate into the ADP seminar so I can expose him. But the deeper I dig, the scarier everything becomes. How so? Um... The ADP apparently doesn't profit at all from sales of the Holy Stones. It's nothing more than a front. Most of their revenue actually comes from the seminars. There, they give their patrons some sort of mind-altering drug. That sounds highly illegal. Actually, that sounds cultish. Is the ADP a cult? Do you work for a cult? I mean, you're trying to get out, but... After which, they're encouraged to donate their life savings to the benefit of the ADP. People have even gone missing after seminars. Families have been torn apart by this madness. Oh yeah, it's a cult. Little red fra <sighs> frags? Little red flags shooting up everywhere. But I... I was part of it all. By selling these fraudulent stones, I was in direct support of their horrible actions. I know this doesn't make up for what I've done, but I want to help the others come to their senses. Barely anyone within the ADP will talk to me, though, and those who do won't actually hear me out. What should I do, Magnia-san? These people are all headed down a path towards great ruin. I know how they feel. <laughs> there has to be some way I can deal with the chairman. Right. I'll just have to admit to everything that's been going on, even if I get dragged down too. That's the only way. Looks like Jahaya's not sure how to approach this issue. She might do something rash at this rate. I should take care of the chairman before that happens. Mm. The only one who can stop him, right? Tell me his name. 
Oh, the chairman? It's Yuichi Fukurai. Yuichi Fukurai. Um... Why do you ask? Uh, don't worry about it. <sighs> oh. Hmm. How strange. It seems the cards have changed somehow. My future is in line with that of the trickster. What does that mean? I have no idea. I can tell you one thing. It definitely has nothing to do with me whatsoever. This time. I, I just did my normal thing that changes fate. Even so, my fate remains unchanged. I am destined to stay a monster. Um... I need to take care of that chairman for Chahaya. Debunking the psychic. Request received. I have to think on this for a while. Let's finish for let's finish for today. Good night. Well then, goodbye. Goodbye, Chahia. I'm collecting uh, mementos missions, so delete it by admin. You know, you're next. They're deaf guilty. So let's see, we got two that oh, is this in place went to shit. solo mission that we have. To enough do. is enough! Uh, anyway, November 9th, Oh, Wednesday. how far they've fallen. The lower house disbanded. It was an internal split. Masayoshi Shido. He's the only one. Whoa! He's the only one that can stand up for what's right. The only one who will make good on his word. That's the kind of person we need leading this nation, especially in times like these. Shido leads the United Future Movement, right? He was right. If we'd taken the Phantom Thieves seriously from the start, they'd be behind bars by now. Mm, I don't know about that. Which will come first, do you think? The regime change or the apprehension of the Phantom Thieves? <sighs> Neither. Neither of those things will happen. Not if I have anything to say about it. Oh wait, right, the future I'm in jail. Well holding cell, but that's neither here nor there. Including the day we gotta carry out the plan. There's only ten days left. Time's really slipping away. What will happen to us if we fail? We won't fail. Kinda of tough to say that for sure, though. Maybe, but we can't lose heart before we've even done anything. If we do that, we'll just mess everything up, even the parts we can definitely succeed in. Hmm, I've actually said something wise for once. You wanna fight? You two get along so well. Haru, have you not been reading the chat? Uh, how so? That is an outrageous claim. That's what I should be saying! Come on, stop it! Let's try to keep tension low. We're all feeling anxious. Even you, Makoto? Yes. It can't really be helped this time. That's not how I raised you! Get a hold of yourself, Ryuji! <laughs> Why are you singling me out? Futaba. Hey. We're supposed to send the calling card on the 18th, which means there are only nine days left. Indeed. Okay, Ryuji's available. I can't really see anything right now in regards to uh, the school where people are hanging. I could check to see if Haru is available. Random thoughts. She's at four now? Yeah, she's at four. She's gonna get bumper crop next. Increase the total vegetables yield for a single harvest. Ooh, that's good. Okay. But yeah, we'll definitely get that next. And then, how are we doing with uh, Shinya again? Because he's another person I'm, I got invested interest in. Okay, I gotta get him two more to get him caught up. But Haru is almost where I want her to be. Yeah. Well, at least for the time being, at the very least. 
But with that, I think we're going to end this episode here. In the next episode, more hanging with Haru, just killing our time before it's time to send the calling card. See you guys then!